Thank you for your interest in this article. Lung function is an important measure of monoclonal antibody effectiveness in asthma. In this real-world study, we evaluated the lung function trajectories in a cohort of patients with moderate to severe asthma on omalizumab, mepolizumab, or dupilumab. The population included 229 patients, 88 who were on mepolizumab, 76 who had initiated omalizumab, and 65 who had initiated dupilumab. At baseline, the groups were unique with the mepolizumab group having the highest eosinophil count with an absolute count of about 405 cells per microliter, uh, log 10 of 2.61. FEV1 was lowest in the omalizumab group. Patients on all three biologics showed an improvement in FEV1 over the first year with subsequent decrease in the rate of improvement over the three-year follow-up period. The subsequent decline was, however, most pronounced in the omalizumab group, leading to an overall decline of about 44 mils per year over the three-year follow-up period. Half to three-quarters of patients qualified as responders haven't had an improvement in FEV1 or a decline of less than 0.5% per year since starting bio the biologic therapy. The median time to no additional FEV1 improvement in responders was six months for omalizumab and about one year for mepolizumab and dupilumab. By the end of the second year in therapy, virtually all mepolizumab responders had reached their maximal FEV1, and for omalizumab and dupilumab, all responders had reached their maximal FEV1 by the end of the third year. In conclusion, Mepolizumab, omalizumab, and dupilumab were effective in improving lung function over time. In this retrospective cohort, all patients who showed response had read their maximal untreatment FEV1 by the end of the third year of therapy. Thank you.